Esports have made it to the Asian Games at this point. So do you think that one day it's going to be at the Olympics? In the Olympics, sorry. Uh, I do hope so. And we are seeing the trend moving forward. And but I think when you, when you talk about esports, I hope that our audience can have a wider uh, interpretation of esports. When you say esports in Chinese, right? it's more in the form of gaming. I think that's one way of manifesting. Right? The way you can see it is aquatics. What is aquatics? Actually, it's not just swimming. It's diving, it's open waters, it's, it's, it's all sorts of water sports in one banner. So esports can be a big banner, gaming can be one, but how do we, do we have, we're now looking at very closely, you know, virtual reality, extended reality, augmented reality, and also there's different ways of engaging with each other. So when you talk about sports, that word, it's actually just about how people come together and compete with each other in a fair and in a, in a fair manner, right? In a, in a fair and e equal platform. So when you talk about esports, it's really doing sports competition using e, which is technology. So I'm sure technology will bring people closer and closer together. And how we do that in terms of, you know, even now in cycling, there's a very convincing and very good software and hardware for people to be able to compete in cycling uh, in different corners of the world. So I'm sure these technology will just advance at a quicker and quicker pace. So I'm, I'm very excited about this um, trend, and I'm sure there will be more companies and more research in this area actually to fulfill people's need for sporting competition and sporting demands. So this is an exciting time, I believe.